food hygiene globally has been identified as critical to preventing spread of infectious diseases and helping communities lead long, healthy lives. Raising awareness about the importance of knowledge and learning on hand hygiene at the right times has also been identified as even more important as the hand is a major contributor to one of the gateways into the human system. Global Hand Washing Day was initiated in 2008 by the Global Hand Washing Partnership at the annual World Water Week in Stockholm, Sweden. The day aims to make people around the world aware of importance of washing hands with cleaning agents to prevent diseases. Outbreak in Nigeria of Ebola virus disease in 2014 galvanized government and people to action to consistently promote and practice effective hand washing with disinfectants. However, without a culture of good hand hygiene practice and availability of enabling facilities and products such as water and soap, hand washing will be a near impossibility. Federal government in partnership with the World Health Organization and UNICEF prepared a roadmap 2021 to 2025 to help achieve this global goal. Three years down the lane, are clean hands still important? The washing hands are still very vital, are still very important, even though we are not in the COVID-19 era, it is still very vital that we promote hand washing in this society. We have waterborne diseases, we have the flu, and we have other diseases that definitely, um, without washing your hands properly, you can still definitely get. Well, I think washing your hands is very good for your health, and then you take away the germs and keep you clean, and also you can also make contact with other people without them getting infected with germs or so on. Access to hygiene services has become very important to achieving this roadmap. 2021 reports have it that only 17% of households have access to basic hand hygiene services. This unfortunately has been rated as too low to achieve a great hygienic community, leading to a renewed advocacy for healthy hand hygiene. How far are people catching up with this advocacy? I do wash my hand all the time. I have um, shampoo. Whenever I touch the customer hair, after barbing him, I do come outside and wash my hand so as to maintain my hand, so as to avoid bacteria. Because there are many people whereby if you see their hair, they have some um, rashes, dandruff on their hair. So I need to wash my hand in case I want to eat something. It's a normal thing, even from nature. Um, uh, everybody, we, we are meant to take uh, hygiene serious, but due to cause, you know, things of, you know, the situation of Nigeria, too many times we are not, we are not, uh, we are not reluctant in thinking back or what consequences hand washing, you know, could bring to us, the disaster and the hazard. And we are always in a haste in Nigeria. That is one thing. Counting of money is one thing that is very, very risky because uh, the whole Nigeria touch, touch the money before it gets to you. So you are at risk of contacting different things. But we do wash our hands. That one is normal. We wash our hands always. But on several occasions, we do forget. Because this is our business. You know, we normally use charcoal. So if we use our hand to pack charcoal are put on the fire, then we have to wash the hand before we use it to sell for customers. And when we are busy selling, we used to collect money with our hands. And we will still wash our hand before we use that hand to sell for customers because many customers, they don't like it. Especially when you are serving customers, you use the other hand to collect money. So we say, why would you collect money with that hand? Are you still using hand to serve? That is why when we collect money with our hand, we have to wash our hand before we serve customers. That is how we do it. With at least 167 million homes without access to hand washing facilities, the country has demonstrated its commitment in developing a hand hygiene for all initiative roadmap as one of the pilot countries under the hand hygiene for all initiative designed to move the world towards universal access to hand washing. What guiding principles and strategic objectives must be pursued to achieve a significant shift by 2025? We need to focus on some goals, that is education, awareness. We definitely need to make more awareness about hand washing and why it is very important and vital to, 
to participate in hand washing we need to make people more aware of why they should actually wash their hands even though we are not in the covid 19 era there has to be more enlightenment there needs to be more awareness about hand washing create more hand washing facilities in public spaces such as schools such as hospitals if possible even roads that we pass hand washing facilities needs to be there so we need to make it more accessible for everybody going beyond the roadmap how can the culture of hand washing be sustained social media campaigns campaigning for global hand washing like it is not only because we were in the covid 19 era we should wash their hands we should wash our hands we should bring in more visibility of hand washing and why it is actually important for us to wash our hands Gov the government uh, um, non-governmental organizations we need to all work together towards the purpose of why hand washing global hand washing is actually very very important whenever you touch anything make sure you wash your hands especially if you're going to your mouth if you're eating you wash your hands after eating you wash your hands whatever you're doing just wash your make sure that your hands are always clean good hand hygiene is an economical public health measure and a cornerstone for safe and effective health care it is a crucial protection against a wide range of diseases stopping transmission of covid 19 which further raise public health awareness and preventing other outbreak related diseases and critical to combating antimicrobial resistance clean hands are therefore still important and must be maintained. Peace or Genegbawe.